Hey guys, welcome to this week's Sunday Spin, where we take the music that we're spinning this week. I'm Terry here with Laura, as always, and it's Canada, bitches. Um, <laughs> this week we are going to be celebrating my home and native land. Um, this was completely not by design. Uh, this was a total fuck up um, on our part, and we're going to roll with it. So that's awesome. I'm very excited to present these bands to you. A couple things uh, before we start. First things first. Uh, if you guys are in the York area on February 5th, we still have our show at the West York Inn. Uh, Coffee of Lions, Working Class Sip, Fat Chance, and Mild Love are going to be gracing our stages, playing some pretty wicked tunes for you guys. So make sure you come in and stop by and hang out. I believe it's $7 at the door. Yep. I got it right. $7 doors at 7 p.m. Beauty. Um, next thing up is that we are looking for vendors for Camp Pennsylvania. We got a great response. Um, if you're still interested, make sure you come and snag your spot before all our spots are full. Um, also, if you're looking to maybe you want to sponsor camp and send us some of that sweet, sweet money um, to help camp, everything goes towards camp. Things are expensive and we are still broke bitches. So yeah, make sure you send <laughs> us your cash. Um, we will grace your logo everywhere just plaster it if you have a logo it's gonna be glitter. <laughs> glitter. yeah there's a bunch of different sponsorship opportunities on our website that you can check out as well and if you have any questions you can obviously hit us up directly yeah so um let's just get this all-star canadian show started and laura who's your pick this week okay so i picked come back in you guys they put out, um, this just came out yesterday, really and I wanted to wait a week to do it, but also I have not been able to stop listening to this since it came out. Um, it's called Heavy Steps, again, came out yesterday, January 21st, it's 11 songs, 32 minutes long, came out on Nuclear Blast, and also in Canada, New Damage Records. I love this band, you guys, and I i mean, you guys know how Terry and I feel about hardcore, so there's... There's no question that like this band would grace the show at some point. Um, this is their first album in five years, I believe. Lucky number seven. Um, it's had two years in the making now, and this is seriously just hardcore at its finest, you guys. Um, it was produced by John Paul Peters of Propagandi and Cancer Bats. He also did their very first album, Turn It Around, too. So this kind of really just takes it right back to that old school comeback kid that I fell in love with, that Terry fell in love with, and that I'm sure you guys all fell in love with too. Um, kicks off with the title track, obviously Heavy Steps, and it just hits the ground running. Uh, screams Heavy Steps on hollow ground. And it reminds me again of that earlier, that earlier style, authentic comeback kid with that very heavy, hardcore structure, speed, and the message, and the way they execute this song. Um, I thought it was a perfect way to kick this off, and it had me excited to listen to the rest of this. Um, Another song I want to talk about is Face the Fire, and this is just a beautiful blend of hardcore and that melodic style that, I mean, to me, that's what I like in hardcore. I like when you can mix that melodic in there a little bit, because I like to that, that sing songy a little, but I also like to get my shit rocked. So the way that this band um, marries those two styles, I think is really flawless. And Andrew's got one of my favorite voices in hardcore, too. He's got a great scream, but he also sings really well as, um, on top of that. So I think just the way that he executes, everything he does is really great. But this album, again, took it back to those earlier days, and I really dig that. Um, they also just dropped a video for this yesterday, too, and I love this. Um, it's footage from the last five months of them being back on the road after COVID. And it's just really cool to see the crowd get stoked and the band interact with them and that's what we've all been missing that whole time we were stuck on quarantine. So that video really does, um, it kind of lights your fire. The song I want to talk about though the most that really like did it for me on this album is Dead on the Fences. Holy shit, you guys, I cannot get enough of it. I love the thrash metal that's incorporated in here. The beginning has this just wild, heavy, just, oh my gosh, such a heavy breakdown. Um, it reminds me a lot of Every Time I Die rest in peace uh <laughs> knocked loose i i get these really big these these big chunky breakdowns in here but then again he's got these very like modern vocals thrown on top of it it's just super immaculate in every way and then I, at the end again another one of these big growling breakdowns too like this band really knows their shit and they really know how to do it i also love that this song was placed just about halfway through the album so it kind of kicks you in the ass again. It's like, hey, yeah, we're back. And in case you didn't know from the first half of this album, 
you know now. Like, you know that we're not fucking around. I haven't seen these guys live since like 2017 or 18, but um, I, I really, I can't wait for some dates to get announced and I can't wait to get out there. I'm super stoked. Um, Terry, who are you spinning this week? Uh, so, sticking to our Canadian theme, totally. Uh, I'm very excited about this. They just came out with an album on January 14th, so just last week. Uh, Side Out, Change of Turns, they're out of Quebec. Um, they came out with an album through People Punk Rock. It's eight songs, about 30 minutes long, and this album rips. Um, I have to admit, I didn't know the band before, um, but if you know Quebec and you know that Quebec melodic scene, this is it. And this is a very cool combination of what I found to be Quebec melodic, but then you also have that metalcore, you also have that hardcore, and you also have that skate. And it's a beautiful blend of the four. Really just comes in little tiny pockets. It definitely hits more in metal. Um, that metalcore side, definitely those like very powerful like bass or bass drums, the double bass. Um, really hits really chunky guitars. Opens up with incendiary. Has a heart. the French in me is just like <laughs> it's like a hard time with that one. Um, I probably practiced it like ten times before we got onto the show. But yeah, very chunky guitars off the top. It has beautiful. I love his voice. It's very clear, but it's two people singing, so you have like kind of reminds me a bit of that Alexis Fire back in the day. Also, Protest the Hero does it, where you have that one very nice, clean, clear song, and then you got the middle one that just like blows your ears off, which is amazing. And I didn't find the blows your ears off guy to be that heavy, but it was just right, especially for the style of music. It kind of still kept that melodic in it. It wasn't too heavy that I was like, oh, it's not melodic at all, it's just straight to metal. No, I found it to be very nice. This song's very flowy. You know, the breakdowns are perfect. Uh, the, solo the solos are right where it needs to be. And like, I can only imagine what the tip of their fingers look like because they hit that guitar so hard. I just like, all I see is like blood. <laughs> you know, like it, that's just how much they shred. And I couldn't believe how like good this was. There's sometimes I catch myself in the breakdowns and go, oh my God, damn, like this is hard. Like, oh my goodness. And of course for me, who loves that little bit of metal in their life, it's just like, makes the heart a flutter. Um, the second song I'm going to talk about is Decline. Um, very solid intro right off the hop. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very clean in a way that metal has a tendency of not doing it. And that's why it kind of falls under that melodic for me. Um, very combination of the two, melodic and skate for it. Um, you know, and it talks about the state of the world. And you can see by this album, I'm like, where the fuck? This album right, right here, um, it, I very find it to be kind of in within the theme of the album to kind of show where the world's kind of heading. And I do have to admit that this song's a little bit doom and gloom in a way, but they did it well. They did it tasteful. They didn't make it. Sometimes when people get into that doom, and I'm just depressed. For, but this one kind of made me want to fight and kind of want to move on and keep going like no this isn't gonna happen to me I'm gonna live another day and just freaking rock it. So yeah, I really enjoyed the whole song um, You know talks about the feelings of stagnation and kind of just that Hopelessness that we are all feeling right now, especially up here in Canada because we're kind of still stuck in lockdown Quebec's still locked down Ontario still locked down until the end of the month starting to open up. So yeah, I really love it. The drumming is very militant. Reminds me of Belvedere's newest album, especially that Elephant March song. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, but yeah, the combo of the vocals, it, it really works. I really, it's great. Um, the last song I'm going to talk to you is Awake and Avenge Dead. Very metal intro. Um, I thought it was going to be a completely metal song when I heard it, and I was like, okay, this is cool. It works with the album. It's been a blend of the two, so when it really came out, little bit harder but then you hear his voice and you're like no this isn't a metal voice this is very melodic very clean very crisp um but yeah the song's even about and i find it to be really you know very touching it kind of hit me right in the throat a little bit but it's when somebody's passed and in this case of the song was very violent way but when somebody's passed is that they're still not really gone you still feel them in the things that you're doing and kind of in the way that you're doing your day-to-day -day. and maybe not fully in the context of the song but that's how i interpreted it just you know you feel that person all the time and in the context of the songs they just want to go and avenge their death obviously that can't always be the case so i really enjoyed the way that they pulled it off um end of the song has this really strong breakdown i really 
I think I just kept rewinding the last like 30 seconds just to hear it because the vocal combination with the way the drums were working with the guitar, it was a beautiful blend, but also very powerful. And the fact that it just ended, you know, it didn't just drift off and fade out, it just fucking stopped. And it was like, wow, you're kind of left like with chills at the end sometimes. And when songs do that to me, depending on the right song, Love it. So yeah, um, I thought this album was fantastic. Make sure you go pick up a copy. They have beautiful variants out right now. Um, and I guess that brings it out to our shout out. Laura, who are you shouting out today? Okay, so sticking with our Canadian theme, I picked a band from Hamilton, Ontario. Okay. Um, Motion Sickness, you guys, they just dropped a single called Doom Girl. And obviously it is a cover of Doom Boy by my all-time faves, Dirty Nil. So. Clearly, I love it, right off the hop. Um, but actually, this is really a fantastic cover. They speed this thing up, like, times 100, and it has this wicked, crazy, uh, skate punk kind of vibe to it. I can't get enough of it. Their vocals on this are top notch. I think it, I think they blend so beautifully, again, with, that, with those super fast drums and those nice, chunky guitar riffs. I really love the way that this band covered this song. I thought it was quirky, the spin that they put on the artwork and the way that they just kind of blasted this out to the world. It's streaming all over the place. I suggest you guys go check them out ASAP because you will not be sorry. Terry, who are you shouting out this week? Um, so it's a music video, again, from our friends, Our Darkest Days. I know I kind of shouted them out. To say That's before. okay, we love them. <laughs> we do, we really do. And these guys are also out of Quebec, but they came out with a video um, off their Snakes and Ladders called Against All Odds, and it features Etienne Zian. Um, beautiful vocals so make sure you go and keep them out last i checked their facebook was just today and we taped this well you guys see this on saturday so or sunday we're taping this saturday they say they have some exciting news coming up so i am intrigued guys if you want to just shoot me in line tell me what it is that's totally cool if not that's okay i'll wait like the rest of them um but yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic week be careful when you're digging out the snow especially my canadian friends it's been a bitch out there and yeah, we will see you guys next week.